Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released Emergency SOS via satellite on iPhone 14 models. This was a feature that was announced when the iPhone 14 was introduced, and we haven't seen it yet. However, it's now available in specific areas. So if you have an iPhone 14, an iPhone 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro, or iPhone 14 Pro Max, it's available now in the US and Canada. It will be coming to other places later this year, and then the rest of the world we're not sure. So in December, Apple has said that it's coming to France, Germany, Ireland, and the UK. They haven't mentioned any other countries yet. Now, in order to get this, what you'll need is an iPhone 14. You'll also need iOS 16.1 or later. So iOS 16.1, iOS 16.1.1, or any future version as well. The service is free for two years and then we'll move to a subscription model. So whether it's free for two years every time you buy a new phone remains to be seen, but we'll have to wait and see in the future. Now, this was pushed to your phone automatically. You didn't have to do anything at noon or 12 p.m. Eastern time, it showed up on my phone. Some people got a notification of it, and what you would do is just enable it if you were in an emergency situation. Not only can it connect to help you in an emergency, but you can let someone know where you're located. So I wanted to show you exactly how this works. Now first, it's in your settings. So if you go into settings, go down to emergency SOS, scroll to the bottom, you'll see it says emergency SOS via satellite. iPhone can help start a satellite connection to contact emergency services when a call won't go through. So we'll demo that in a moment, but if you're in an emergency situation, what you would do is just enable emergency SOS. Press your power button five times or hold it. So one, two, three, four, five. It goes into emergency SOS. We'll stop it for now, but if we had no signal, no Wi-Fi or cellular signal, then we could connect. And so we can familiarize ourselves with the way this works. They've given us this option to try a demo of it. So let's go ahead and try that. You do need to be in view of the sky so it can connect to a satellite satellite. And for the demo, I don't believe it connects to a satellite, but it will show you where that satellite is located. So let's try it out. Now I'm outside in my backyard. It's a little cold outside. It's rainy. We're in the woods and there's some tree coverage as well, but let's try out this demo. So we'll go to emergency SOS, scroll to the bottom, try demo. And it says about satellite connection. iPhone can help in an emergency when a call won't go through. After dialing emergency services, a button will appear to start, start a satellite connection. So let's go ahead and hit next. Then you'll have to answer some questions if this were a real emergency. So it says during an emergency, you'll answer emergency questions that can help you get the assistance you need faster. We'll hit next and now we can test. So it says using a satellite to send and receive messages. To test the satellite connection, make sure you're outside. Your cellular connection will be temporarily turned off during the demo. So let's test the satellite connection. It's asking us if we want to turn off cellular. We'll turn off and it says try to get a clear view of the sky. So it still shows a cellular connection, but maybe it won't in just a moment. So we'll give it a minute to connect. It says finding your location. It says satellite available soon. So I'm showing you this in real time and it's wanting me to move to look for a signal. So as I turn here, let's see, there we go. It comes into view and it should be in this area. So that gives you an idea of how it works. It says keep pointing at satellite to send and receive. And now it says connected. So it's going to show us a demo of how fast it sends and receives. And keep in mind, it's rainy, it's cloudy, and it's still working. So it's actually getting that satellite information and it's working. So again, it's showing you how long it's going to take to send a message and receive it. Now it does ask you a bunch of questions at the beginning to help make this a little bit quicker process. And there we go. And so it says, this is a sample conversation with emergency services. Type whatever you want and you'll receive example responses. Dispatchers will often ask you to describe your location. Be brief but descriptive. For example, East Canyon Highway near mile marker 43. Emergency message example, what is your location? And we'll just say, Charlotte in the woods. And then we'll hit send. And so now it's showing how long it's going to take to send. Giving, a, giving an example, and it's taking a while, and the rain's actually picking up, so let's see how long this takes. So we'll continue here, and it's still sending, but it is working, so it will send back and forth, and there we go, so it's sent. 
So that's how that works. And it says, can you tell what caused the breakdown? Maybe you broke down in your car, you had a, an emergency. This is great that this is available. And now it's saying poor connection. Even though I was in the same spot and haven't moved, you'll see it's moving as I rotate. Now I'm connected again. So you may have to continue to move while you're connected, but at least it's showing you what direction to move. And as I move, you'll see the satellite move in the little graphic in the upper left. So we'll go ahead and end that, and then we'll end the demo. Now, additionally, as I mentioned before, you can send someone your location if maybe you're in the wilderness, you're hiking, and you don't have connections to cell towers or Wi-Fi. So if you go into Find My, and then you tap on Me in the bottom right, scroll down, and you'll see it says My Location via Satellite. Currently, it's not available because I have Signal, but if we tap on Learn More, you'll see it says Sending Your Location via Satellite is available whenever there is no cellular or Wi-Fi networks and you have a SIM installed. You can't send your location via satellite now because you appear to have other networks available. So you can actually send this to someone else if you don't have your networks available and let them know where you are. So it's great that they've incorporated that as well. And so that's everything with emergency SOS via satellite on the iPhone 14 models. We'll see this in future iPhone models, I'm sure, maybe even the SE in the future versions of that. It was great that we didn't need an iOS update either, but let me know if you have it on your phone already in the USA and Canada, and if you'd be interested in it anywhere else around the world, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.